wanted to show you a couple of my favorites for the older kids. Now these will range in age a little bit, but it's, you know, from probably early elementary and up. Um, some of them go down a little bit, some of them go up a little bit, but our illustrated stories books, now these are the ones that are abridged, like this is a collection of stories, um, but this is the same type of book you'll see with our illustrated um, classics that are unabridged, but this is, it's like a padded, it's just beautiful. Um, this one is Dickens. And so it has all of the stories that we know and love from Charles Dickens, but condensed. So um, that's actually the way I like to read Dickens. <laughs> um, but this is just, they're just beautiful books. And that's what all books that are like this will kind of look like this, if that makes sense. Um, this is one of our new ones and our new releases in 2016 and one of my favorites. It's A Year in My Life and it's a creative quirky journal daily for your children to do and ask some fun things like scribble a picture of a goblin um, sketch the most boring part of your day but make it look extraordinary draw you and your friends if, as you were in a video game write about how today would have been different if you'd worn flippers I mean it's just silly goofy and just a fun way my um, almost seven-year-old niece loves it and um, if you have a child that you know just likes to to um, get express herself or his self himself that is the perfect one. Our See Inside series is amazing. It is a step up from our Look Inside series, um, and this one is one of the most impressive ones, but we have several titles, including Body, which is my also my other favorite. Um, but this is all about the universe in different ways. And then we also have weather, um, we have exploration and discoveries, there's trains, um, there's famous palaces, there's a lot of different topics. Um, but how beautiful is this? I mean, this just takes the cake when it comes to interactive on something that is kind of hard to understand because it's so out there, literally. <laughs> um, I highly recommend Sea Insides for um, kids of any time. If they like nonfiction, if they don't like nonfiction. I mean, even I am start I'm understanding things better when I can interact with the pages and see really beautiful imagery to accompany it. Um, so yeah, that's our Sea Inside series. Totally can't go wrong with any of them. We have so many wonderful encyclopedias, guys. Like there are the Children's Encyclopedia is one of my favorites. Um, this one is the Osborne Geography Encyclopedia. Um, and I will tell you, my four-year-old loves this. He just likes looking at the pictures and then he'll find something and say, okay, mommy, read me about this. And I will you know, pick and choose some information to read to him. But what's really cool is we just kind of leave it out. It's on the table. It's a great way to elicit interest in subjects that they otherwise would not be interested in. Um, my son or my husband was a geography major, so he is especially interested in this, but we have a science one. Um, we have um, different ones that pertain to like the living world. There's animals. There's different encyclopedias for every interest, and I highly recommend you go back toward those because it's getting them away from technology and learning only on the computer. 100 Things to Know About Science, this one is presented in like infographics and it makes the most um, difficult of concepts so much fun to read about. Um, I myself caught myself just sitting there reading this one day and I'm like, whoa, I just spent 20 minutes reading about Mary Curry and um, it's just awesome. Like if you have a kid that's older, um, and like science, or if you have an adult that even does, this is something that's for sure going to be a family favorite. Um, and it's kind of a cool, like, it's not quite a paperback and it's not a hardback. So, um, we have several of these write your own adventures, um, or write your own stories. There's my first story writing book, which is for the youngest ones. It walks kids through how to write stories. Um, it builds their vocabulary. It teaches them story structure as well as what to look for in your plots. Um, the youngest one is great for kiddos who are just starting to like learn how to um, put cohesive sentences together to form stories more so. Um, highly recommend it if they either need the imagination boost or if they already have that active imagination and need a way to express it. Um, for the older kids, there's write your own adventure stories, there's write your own story, there's write your own write and draw your own comics. Um, this one is the adventure one and it gives you vocab to use to just kind of get you started um, and what a cool way to journal and then I um, also I do have a, a friend who um, wanted to have a reusable version of this so she's thinking of doing what another friend of mine did which was um, she gets vinyl from craft stores and they can put it over this and they can draw on there and then they can always write it in here if it's one that they want to keep so it's just a really great way 
to help them learn how to write. Um, this is not a math book, and um, but this is a really cool book. Just the texture of this paper is phenomenal. Um, anyway, it's a great way to marry the subjects of math and art. Um, so if you have a math lover or a math hater, this might be a perfect book for them. Um, it teaches you about how to use your tools to make really cool designs, but they're all mathematic tools. Um, highly recommend that one if you have anyone in your life. Um, I did want to show you one more see inside book that um, just to show you the, the range that we have. Like this one's the weather and climate, who, which is also another favorite of my um, husband's. Um, just really quick. So yeah, it's I, I, I want to go back to the sea insides because it's probably one of my favorite series that we offer all over, across the board. So anyway, those are some of just a couple of my favorites. I could keep going and going and going, but thank you so much for joining and happy reading.